Hey, what's up guys? This is Alex from AppRay.io and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create your own personal quiz application using AppRay.io template. All of our templates are ready to go and do not require any additional effort. So let's launch it right away and see what this application is all about. Once the application is loaded, the first screen you'll see is the home screen. From here, you can either start the quiz right away or you can check profile and settings. The profile shows your username that you can change at any time, your stats, and rating among other players using the same quiz app. The settings page includes an option to reset progress. Click on it to reset all of the current progress. And there is also an admin portal, which we'll discuss further in the video. In order to start the quiz, we can tap the start button, select the difficulty and the quiz itself. Each quiz can consist of multiple questions. The number of questions is displayed at the top by the quiz name. Each question includes a text description, image, and multiple answers to choose from, but only one answer is the correct one. Once the answer is chosen, depending on if it is correct or incorrect, you'll get a corresponding message with an explanation. Once you're done with the quiz, you'll see the final result depending on how well you've answered the questions. It can be either gold, silver, or bronze. From here, you can finish the quiz or try again. As soon as you are done with the quiz, your result will be added to the database, your profile, and to the rating list. Now let's go to the admin portal, where you as an admin of the application can modify quizzes. In order to access the admin part, you will have to insert the password. We will show where to set it a bit later. The first thing you'll see is the Manage Quizzes page, where all of the quizzes are displayed. You can select the difficulty level for which you would like to add it, delete existing, or add a new category. Swipe right if you would like to add the category, swipe left to delete it, or you can add a new quiz. The first step of creating a new category consists of naming, choosing the icon, and difficulty. Step 2 includes the question itself, an image upload, and explanatory messages for correct and incorrect scenarios. Step 3 allows you to set up two or four answers with an option to select the correct answer. Let's quickly add a few more questions following the same steps. As an admin, you're also able to edit existing questions, delete them, or add more at any time. Once you're done configuring the quiz, Click Save and the quiz will become available. Now we can go back to the user's view and see that the newly created quiz is visible to users. Now let's transition back to the AppRay.io visual editor. Here are some of the ways on how you can customize this template to make your quiz application unique. On the left side you can see the project tab that includes multiple folders. Opening the pages folder will allow you to customize each page individually. The first thing you might want to do is change text. Not only you can change the name of the application, but you can change any text in the template. In order to do so, click on the text that you want to change and navigate to the right panel. Here you can find the text section in which you can set any needed text. The second thing you might want to change is the logo. Each template has a default logo, but you can use any other image that you would like. In order to change the logo, click on it and click the Change button on the panel on the right. Here you can either select one of the available images or upload the file from your PC. The next thing you can change is the colors of the application. You can change the color of each element individually, but there's also a better way to change template colors. You can easily change multiple colors using themes. Over here you can see a theme dropdown. Selecting one of the options from the drop-down will allow you to see how this specific page will look like under a different theme. In order to apply the theme to the entire application, expand the project folder, select App Settings, and select the needed theme from the drop-down. Now we can click Test and see how the application looks like with the newly selected theme. The next thing that I would like to show you is how to add an additional page. You might need this for a privacy policy, terms of use, or an About Us pages. In order to add one of those, select the Settings page, open the Outline panel, 
Expand the content section and select one of the cards. Now click the gear icon and select the clone option. As you can see, now you have an additional tab. You can rename it and make it lead to the needed page. We have already created privacy policy in terms of services for you, so you can just expand the events tab and select the click event. Navigate to page action and select the needed page. And don't forget to click save. Let's repeat the same steps for the second page. And now we can click test and verify that two new pages were added. Since we have an admin portal that can be accessed only with a password, let me show you how to set that password. Click on the database at the top, select the needed DB from the list, which will lead to the page where you can find all of the data related to the quiz. Click on the Users tab, will open the table with all of the user's data, including admin. And here you have a password column in which you can set a password for the admin. The last thing you might want to do is to export your application and try it on your own device. You can do that through an export feature where you can select either Android or an iPhone format. Let's select .ipa. As you can see, the application started building the IPA. Please note that for the successful app export, you need to first import the certificates. Here in the app settings, iOS binary, in distribution certificate and provisioning profile sections. Once your project is generated, you will see the QR code that you can use to easily upload your application to your device. To learn more about how to export your application, including iOS and Android certificates, please follow the link in the description. And now let's take a look how your application will look like on a real device. And allow me to speed run through one of the quizzes. And these are just a few ways how you can customize and work with the template. To learn more about the Apri.io platform and its features, visit our website or find more videos on our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and happy developing!